am so excited for the game tonight. Those boys are going to beat those Huskies. I can't wait to watch our boys out on the field tonight. Stop where you're going. This is the wrong way. Go the opposite direction right now. <sighs> Anyways, we got a show to get to. Hey Panthers, we're your hosts for this week's edition of Panther Playback. I'm Jaden Jones. I'm Shelby Kendall. And we will be finding out what our administration has been up to and see what our cheerleaders have been doing this season. My advice to new students would be to get involved in a club or an organization or a sports team. Uh, the more that you get involved, the more people that you, you meet and get to know and make new friends that way. So my advice would be just to get involved in some kind of extracurricular activity. Hey kids, try to stay positive and don't touch each other. Just take it one day at a time. Hey, we're all in this together and we can do this. Stay positive, stay upbeat, and let's do this. My best advice I could give to students for this year is just to be patient and wait this thing through. It's going to be a long haul, but we're in this together, so just be patient. And just stay positive. Um, use, as an art teacher, I would use any kind of outlet to help de-stress and just to kind of take your mind off of all the craziness. Some advice I would give to students is to get a planner or a calendar or a to-do list and write down all your due dates so you know what to do when. So the advice I would give to my students is to stay positive during this time and try to find the good in each day. There's always something good that you can find in each day. Hey students, this is Coach McDonald. Main set of advice I can give you is just be patient. You know, work through the lessons. If you get into any issues, reach out to your teachers. We're here to help you. Hey everybody, I'm Miss LeSueur. I'm the ninth and 10th grade counselor. Um, I'm just here to give you some tips uh, for the year and I would say my best advice would be to stay organized so you can stay caught up on all your classes. What advice do I have for new students? Oh my gosh, do I have a list of about 400? No, number one, be organized. Know where you're going. Follow the arrows. Read your agendas. Do the pacing. Pray every day. Eat breakfast. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my advice to you is just act like you know what you're doing, find someone to be a good friend, and do the best you can, because these years are going to go fast. Just ask the seniors. Do all your work and sign up for all my classes. Hey, I'm Mr. Riley. So here's my, I got two advice for students. First thing, wear your mask. Second thing, when it comes to schoolwork, please ask questions. Talk to your teacher. Your teachers are a great asset to you. So use them, they're tools. So use them, they, they want to help you. So that's the two things I tell all students. Wear your mask. Second thing, talk to your teachers if you need help, especially ingenuity. Hey Panthers, I'm Lexi McGovern here with your Panther of the Week, Allie Radcliffe. So Allie, what are some activities that you're involved with inside and outside of school? Well, inside school, I'm involved with the Pelham High School Band and Theater Program, but outside of school, I work at Chick-fil-A. How long have you been involved with our band program out here at Pelham? Uh, this year will be year five. And then with you working at Chick-fil-A, what's the best part about that? Probably having every Sunday off. And we know that you're a hard worker and achiever, so what is something that keeps you inspired to do all that? I always want to be better than I was yesterday. I want to keep pushing myself and just getting more and more achievements under my belt. So which do you prefer, Starbucks or Dunkin'? Duncan, for sure. All right, Panthers, I'm Lexi McGovern, and this is Allie Radcliffe, and this has been your Panther of the Week. Okay, so it is currently um, 8.30, and I'm about to go over to my friend Gabby's house, and we are going to do some schoolwork, some studying, just to, like hang out a little bit. Okay, so now I'm at Gabby's house, and we're just doing some schoolwork. There's Joey. <laughs> There's Joey right now. We are still working, and um, we're just doing some more schoolwork. And um, yeah. See you soon. Bye, Gabby. Bye. Okay, so I've got to film the rest of what I did yesterday. It's about 4:30. And I have to go to practice and then we have a parent preview for our new halftime show this year.
Good morning, everyone. I am Sabrina Touchstone. I'm your assistant principal and just wanted to talk to you guys today about taking care of yourself. We're, we're worried about you. I hope you're worried about us because we need it. Uh, we need your thoughts and prayers and we're going to give them right back to you. I know you guys are struggling with this new world we're in and frankly, probably tired of hearing about it, hearing about the word like ingenuity. Because I'm tired of that word. I'm tired of Google Classroom. I don't care if I ever hear Google again in my life, to be honest. But it's the world we're in right now, and you guys are doing great. It is a struggle. If you're behind, stick with it. This will get better, I promise. We miss you here. We miss seeing you every day. I miss pep rallies. I miss you just being in the hallway. I miss when the bell rings, it being noisy out there, believe it or not. Uh, can't wait to things till things get back to normal and we get to see you guys on a regular basis. Hey Panthers, I'm Lauren Smith and I'm here with Coach Baker for this week's teacher feature. So Ms. Baker, how long have you been teaching? Uh, this is my t second year teaching. Uh, where did you originally come from? I came from South Alabama but recently moved back um, from Spain over to the United States two years ago. Uh, how long have you been interested in teaching or learning about Spanish? Uh, that would have been my freshman year of college. I, I roomed with uh, two uh, national softball players from Venezuela, and I fell in love with the language and decided to pursue it. I guess that would have been my junior year. Um, so that's um, about 10 years, eight years. What's one of your favorite places to eat? Ooh, favorite places to eat. I'm a huge um, Japanese fan, so uh, gosh, maybe... <laughs> Simple. It's it's called Friendly Sushi Village over in Quest, Crestwood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's your favorite type of music? Oof. Uh, man. Right now we're listening to lo-fi in here. It's chill music, but I like a little mixture of jazz with flamenco fusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then lastly, Chipotle or Moe's? Oh, <laughs> Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. This has been Lauren Smith and Coach Baker with this week's Teacher Feature. Hey guys, this is Miss Slay. For those of you that don't know me, I'm the academic specialist here, and my primary job is to help you with curriculum. I want to encourage you guys. You've done a fantastic job of adjusting uh, and working with your teachers and your parents to stay on track. I want to thank you for your patience, and I want to remind you that we are here to help you. Uh, I'm here. You can always come by my office. Uh, your teachers are your first place to go to for help, and they'd be more than happy to hear from you. So if you're struggling with ingenuity, if you're struggling with Google Classroom, remember, just reach out to your teachers. We really do want to help you. So if there's anything we can do, just let us know. Um, other than that, I want to encourage you guys to find ways to keep being kids and having fun. Don't feel like this is going to be the bad year. Go into it knowing that this is going to be a great year because we're Pelham Panthers and that's what we do. Ma'am, you know that break was really long. What did you miss most about school during quarantine? I miss watching our Panther pulses. Man, me too. You know what? Why don't we see what everyone else had to say? About school. Girls. What do you miss most about school? Definitely Mr. Riley. Wear your mask. The thing I miss most about school this year is sports. What I miss is being able to go out and play tennis salt every day. So. so what I miss most about quarantine with the kids, man. I miss the kids. It's all about the kids. That's what I miss, man. And I'm glad to see y'all. Go back. I'm so happy. But I'd be, be, I'd be very happy when I get this mess off. But I miss the kids. Get to see it in my eyes. Get to see it in my eyes. I miss the kids. One word. Crespitos. One thing I miss about school during quarantine was getting to socialize with my friends, you know, and hang out with my friends, you know, and show off the drip, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, drought conditions will only intensify across Alabama. What I miss most about school was having Ms. Hatch say hey to me every day before class. Love you, Ms. Hatch. Shout out. All right, I miss my students. No, cut it. I'm joined here with the Pelham cheer coach, Mrs. Coker. So, Ms. Coker, how long have you been involved in cheer at Pelham? Well, you know, I always forget how many years I've been doing this, but I, I have to go back to how many captains I've had. 
over the years, and I think this is either my sixth or seventh year. Not real sure. <laughs> one, one of the one of the other. That's a long time. So I know you have a history with dance. So what brings you to coaching cheer? Well, that's kind of really a funny story because I knew absolutely nothing <laughs> about cheer when I decided to become the cheer coach. But several years ago, the cheer coach that was the cheer coach here for several years, she left. I think it was when we split with Helena. She left. She taught at Helena. She left, and they couldn't find anybody. And so – I went to him and I said, I'm the letterman coach. I'll be glad to ride the bus with the cheerleaders and kind of get them through football season. Well, here I am seven years later, and I'm still doing it. So that's how I became the cheer coach. That's a funny story. So what do you say is your favorite part about coaching cheer? You know, I just enjoy what cheer represents at Pelham High School and just the spirit of – getting everybody involved and getting everybody excited about football or basketball or whatever it is we're cheering for. Also really enjoy the relationship that I have with the girls. That to me is extremely important and it keeps me young. And one last question, football or basketball? Oh gosh, that's a hard question because I'll upset basketball people if I say <laughs> football and I'll upset football people if I say basketball. You know, football has always been my love. I've always enjoyed football. But I've really, really enjoyed basketball the last several years. So that's really a toss-up. I definitely agree. And thank you so much for talking with us today. Absolutely. Anytime. My name is Madeline Durrett, and I'm joined here with the cheer coach, Mrs. Coker. What's up, Panthers? My name is Emma McKinney, here with this week's Athlete of the Week. Brooke Monty. So, Brooke, can you tell us what, at what athletics you're involved in here at Pelham? I run cross country and track. How long have you been running? Uh, I've been running track since freshman year and cross country since sophomore year. With this being your senior year, um, what are the ways that you like to lead your team? Um, I really just try to make sure we all keep a really strong mind because in cross country, just telling yourself you can keep going and work strong is all that matters and it's so hard to keep that mind so just reminding my teammates that you can get through anything is what I try to do. So how has your cross country season been going for you so far? Well this year I've been very successful and so have the rest of the girls. We've actually been finishing really high up in proportion to where we were last year so I'm really excited for this season. I think we're going to do really well. Can you tell us what events you participate in during track season? Um, during track I run the 800 and mile and possibly the two mile so with this being such a awkward year, what are you most looking forward to? Honestly, I'm just looking forward to getting past the whole pandemic and then getting to start college and just making the rest of my senior year memories at Pelham. Amen to that. Can you tell us about your most recent meet? Okay, so Saturday we raced at the Clear Invitational, and I actually won, which is really exciting and new for me. I just like being able to finish near the top, so being able to finish first was one of those things I'll remember forever. And can you tell us about any races that you have coming up? So this Saturday, we're going to be racing at Herdmont. And something funny about that, not that y'all really care, is that we're going to have to run through a creek like four times. And it's supposed to be like up to here on me. So it's going to be like a biathlon. So that's going to be, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Sounds very interesting. Well, there you have it. I'm here with this week's Athlete of the Week. Brooke Monty. And we'll see you next time. a master at work. What's up Panthers? My name is Emma McKinney, here with one of our volleyball seniors. Ariana Smith. So Ari, how did you enjoy your senior night? Um, it was good. It could have been better, but I enjoyed playing. Um, definitely fought hard, as I noticed, recording from the sidelines this evening. Um, are you excited to be out of here, or is this kind of sad being senior night? Um, both. I'm sad that I'm leaving, but I'm kind of excited that I'm leaving, but I'll come back. Well, we love you, Ari, and happy senior night, and we'll see you next time.
What's up, Pelham? My name's Emma McKinney, here with another one of our volleyball seniors. I'm Lori Marshall. So, how did you enjoy your senior night? I enjoyed it a lot, playing with my girls. So, was tonight bittersweet for you, or are you really excited to get out of here? <laughs> it was bittersweet because I don't know if I'm going to play in college, so this might be my last year playing volleyball for some time. Well, it's great to have you on our volleyball team since I know that you are, are originally from Pelham. Um, what was the transition coming from Oak Mountain to here like? Uh, it was pretty smooth. Uh, I like it here, and the people here are so welcoming, so it's pretty easy to just have fun friends. Well, we're so glad to have you here. I'm Emma McKinney with Amori Marshall, and we'll see you next time. The lights have come on. Uh, you never lose that feeling of running through that sign and hearing that band play. The Panthers make their way out of the spirit line there on the sideline and ready to rock and roll. Second and one from the one-yard line. Fakes the handoff to Gamble. Get it's going to be right Lancaster, baby. he walks in. Touchdown, Pelham Panthers. Awesome. It'll be Peterson the back to the left of Langford. Darius Copeland in motion. The handoff uh -oh. goes to Peterson, and he's got a nice uh -oh. tug. And he oh, may have more. He Get may break to the Get end zone. Touchdown, yes, Pelham Panthers. Yes, sir. Great First kid. down, the handoff goes here, Peterson. to Peterson. He's going to break to the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. Puts there it is. Walker Lyles in motion. Got him in. It's Darius Copeland working on defenders. Copeland inside, there, dives in. Touchdown, Panthers. Darius Copeland. I and think I called that. Two defenders. There's your slant route again. Throw. Catches it on the far side of the field, and he may score. He does. Touchdown, Kalira. This Panther offense has been awfully lethal right before halftime. Let's see if they can cash in here as Langford looks to pass. Boom. He's got a man. Darius Copeland, first lady. down inside the 10-yard line. Peterson is. in the back, and it'll go to him. And there Peterson's got some space. And Peterson's going to walk in. Touchdown, Panthers. Yes, sir. 2.7 seconds before half. Dave Gamble to the left of Langford in the gun. Langford rolls, Gets looks for it himself. He's in. Touchdown, Will Langford. Keeps it up the middle, and the Panthers' offense back in business here with 114 in the third quarter. A great time for a turnover here. Yes, sir. Come on, John White. My money's on you. Nelson back to pass Look again. Here. A lot of pressure. Can we get him? And he rolls back left. Throws it up. Yeah, and that was picked. There it is. There it is. There it is. John get White's it going right. And John White's going to take it to the house. <laughs> 10, 5, yes, sir. Panthers. <laughs> Whoa. John White takes it. To the house, and Kevin Finch is a fortune teller. 49-41, the final here from Ricky Carnes Memorial Stadium. The Pelican sets Walker Lyles in motion. The handoff goes to Gamble again. Gamble's got some room. He's rumbling down he's inside gone. the 20 he's and gone. the 10-5. He's going to score. Touchdown, Touchdown, Gabe Gamble. Handoff that time off the right side again. Same play we started with. Gabe gets outside, shows a little speed. They try to run him down from behind, but couldn't get him before he got in. Copeland in motion. It's a there pass. It it's Get Walker Lyles, and he's in for another touchdown. Hey, same play as before, but just called to the other side. Just a skinny post inside from the slot receiver. He gets behind the safety that time. He's wide open. He catches the ball and walks in. Pritchett again in motion. And the hand oh. fakes uh -oh. the handoff to Gamble. It's Langford. Get in and there. Langford may Get go to the end zone. It's a race. Yes, sir. He's in. Touchdown, yes, Panthers. Sir. Awesome play right there by Will Langford. Good read. He saw the, the end step down on Gamble, and he keeps and goes around the end. I think everybody on defense, including myself, thought Gabe and the ball. Darius Copeland in motion. Handoff goes there to Peterson goes. again. He's got a hole, we'll and Peterson's going to score. We'll see you, He's at the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Dylan Peterson. Yes. Hey, I love to see the speed. He, he splits the safety space, uh, safety's turn to have that angle on him, and then he walks off and leaves them. Great-looking run by Mr. Peterson right there. Lyle's in motion. Hand off to Peterson. He's stuffed. He'll get a second effort. Yes, sir. And is he in? He yes, is. Sir. Touchdown, Panthers. Great running right there. Several hits. Rise, he touches, touches the ball, and he just powers in there. Great job. Langford sits on it, and the Pelham Panthers are going to come out victorious here. 35-25, and Coach Causey has the big win he talked about. Stanhope's going down. The Pelham Panthers get the win. 35-25. And are three and one on the season. Thanks for tuning in to Panther Playback. I'm Jaden Jones. I'm Shelby Kendall. And we can't wait to see you at the game tonight, Panthers. And remember, wear your mask.
Alright, All right, Panthers, it is a wide out this week, so make sure that you don't think you made me. That's good. <laughs> you made me laugh. Alright, alright. Right. The thing I miss more about school was the homies. Boy, I miss nothing. <laughs> no, I miss the homies for real. Just Alright Panthers, make sure y'all come out this week against Helena, wear some white, it's gonna be a wild